Like, I have no shame. I'm, like, an emotional person, especially when it comes to Zach, so it is what it is. Zach and soccer just makes me emotional. Two things I love. The beginning of 2017 wasn't kind of how I maybe pictured it to go. Everyone just wants to be on the field playing and giving whatever they can to the team. It wasn't like it was like a perfect journey throughout that whole year on and off the field. She wasn't always on the pitch at the time. At first it was really devastating, <laughs> but I think it also allowed me time to kind of refocus my mentality and my goals. So I think managing that is important for me so that I can be the fittest, my strongest, my sharpest when it's very, very important. I wasn't expecting to be a sixth role with the national team at all. Yeah, I went in and was just asked to do it and I just, you know, wanted to be in the field so I didn't really have any questions. Just like, all right. Julie Ertz has scored again. I mean, that is brilliant. Four goals now in her last five games. She's been center back for the last two years with the national team and here's a player as if she's been playing that center midfield position her whole life. Being a center back and kind of watching the midfielders for so long, and especially such amazing ones like Lauren Holiday and everyone else that has played in the midfield, to be able to kind of watch them and learn from them as well. The players around me to help me and communicate and cheer me on and, and all those things definitely helped to learn. But at the end of the day, everyone just wants to be on the field playing and giving whatever they can to the team. And that's kind of just my focus was, you know, whatever I could do to help at the time. This is a very big breakfast. Yeah, I'm so full already. <laughs> I can't tap out with an audience. We've known each other for six years now, I want to say. We dated for about four years, and we've been married for almost a year and a half now. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of great memories, a lot of learning. So we've had an unbelievable time so far. I admire Zach's drive the most. Like from day one that I met him, like how he carries himself is really inspiring to me. So I just, I love being around him. The thing that is unique about our relationship is our sole focus isn't just win the Super Bowl. Julie's sole focus isn't just to win Player of the Year. Our sole focus is just to continually get better. She's focusing on being a great person and being a great soccer player. As much as it does suck to, to kind of be away a lot, it does make the times that we are together a lot more special. What is a black and tan? Uh, a black and tan is half draft latte and half cold. Oh, let me get that. I've never watched a game, in my opinion, that I've been like, wow, Julie wasn't good that game. I always think she plays great, regardless of the outcome. My job isn't to critique her by any means. I'm trying to build her up in every aspect of life. <laughs> Playing the six in the NWSL was definitely helpful. My teammates with the Red Stars just kind of allowing me to figure out what worked for me, the type of player I am. Obviously, I think communication and talking is very helpful for me. I feel like a lot more comfortable on the field the more I'm talking. And more. Watching the game, you have no control over it. So it's like when you're just a fan in the stands and you're living and dying with each play you know that she's going to be either really happy or really upset after the game. Uh, yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking at times. And so is Sam Kerr. Kerr, one touch into the corner. She's got two. If I was growing up, like playing it from the beginning, I think I'd be like Zlatan probably. I mean, I'm 6'5", he's 6'5". Similar personalities. So. No. <laughs> no. No way. You guys competitive? Yeah, disgustingly. Play card games often, and Julie and I will compete, and we have like a little scorebook. It's weird because a lot of those games are, it's not even strategy, it's like luck. Like what cards you happen to get. Here we go. As camp is coming up to kind of start to feel, um, obviously my fitness level is definitely coming back. I find it super endearing when people love us as a sports couple, only because like every you know up and down that we have in our sports or just in life in general, we do it together. I think if someone obviously is looking at both of us in a, like a positive light or, or likes the way we play or support each other, then I think it's, it's sweet. 
just the term veteran still sounds kind of funny because I still feel like I was my first camp in when I was googly eyed over Abby and um, Foxy and Chaney and all of those because they just left such an amazing impact. It's important, especially at the end of this year, as it's a cooperative year to everyone to kind of come together, getting on the same page collectively and individually. As every year goes by, I think there's so much that I can take from it and learn and to continue to grow. I'm nowhere near where I want to be as a player, but I just want to continue to grow and set new goals. From the experience I had from the last thing, it's just you just can't take anything for granted. Be ready to do whatever you need to do for the team is kind of that mindset now because I don't want to look past any game or any moment that I can become a better player.